Welcome back, guys, to our series One Versus One Hundred, uh, brought to you by G Fuel. Today, we're joined with Envoy of the LA Thieves. How you doing today, Dylan? Pretty great, man. Just got done with a productive day of scrims, and uh, you know I'm ready to destroy these bots. Oh, let's get it. So we just have a couple questions for you before we uh, we go off and do that. Uh, one of it was um, obviously you guys had a very very good uh, first stage. A lot of I, I feel like a lot of fans didn't know what to expect from you guys, but I feel like a lot of the teams knew that you guys were going to be one of the top teams. Um, you guys went out there, ended up four and one. You guys have the third seed going into the first major. How did it feel for these five matches? Like, were you guys really confident? And then, how do you guys think you're gonna do uh, going into the major? Well, obviously, uh, we we're super confident going in, into the matches. At the beginning of the year, we didn't really know what to expect either because we didn't have like the right servers online. We were playing like basically host wars. Um, and then, you know, starting off with FaZe, I mean, you guys are a great team, uh, a hard matchup. And after that, I mean, we really like broke down our system and how we wanted to play the game and, you know, won four straight. And uh, we expected that, especially with how our practice was going. Um, we looked really good. And as long as we work on our search going into the major, I think we're definitely a title contender. And that's obviously going to be the hardest mode to play against Toronto because, you know, notoriously, they're a pretty good search team. Yeah, that's what everyone's kind of looking forward to is I think you guys have one of the most exciting round one matchups you guys are going to be facing Toronto. Um, how are you guys like feeling? Are you guys feeling really prepared for that? You know, obviously you guys are going to either face LA Gorillas or London in the second round. Are you guys feeling confident going into this uh, this next weekend? Yeah, super confident. I mean, we did just beat them in our last match. Um, winning three respawns, which I mean, you can't ex actually no, we we want to search in that one, but like I was just saying before, search is like our main priority right now. And that's like the thing that we need to be on top of to, you know, close out the series earlier um, or even just ice up. Um, so I think like we're like 11th in like 4v3 situations. So we've really been working on, you know, getting a first blood and capitalizing on the round. Yeah, that's crucial. Putting putting away the enemy before they even have a chance to, you know, bounce back. <laughs> exactly. We have one last question for you. Um, Ranked play, it dropped last week. I feel like it's been a big success. A lot of players have been, you know, playing it. We've had a lot of like fans that have said it's like, it's been refreshing to play ranked on Vanguard. Uh, have you gotten the chance to really grind it? And uh, how do you think about it so far? Oh, I've been loving ranked, man. Um, personally, I haven't really played uh, a lot of ranked on other games. I didn't even play World War II because of my first year back and I was horrible at that game. So I'm happy I'm getting the experience now. And I mean, Treyarch has shown a lot of support towards it and have been doing a lot of minor updates. So um, looking good so far. And I'm like 3,500, so can't complain. Wow, damn. Well, we're going to get diving right into it. Before we do, uh, just a reminder that all of G Fuel's links and all of uh, Envoy's links will be down below. You can check them out. G Fuel currently is having a sale where you can have free shipping with any $50 purchase or more. There's a bunch of new flavors out there as well. We have a couple jugs right here. So check them out. And uh, yeah, let's get right into this. All right. <laughs> I'll be honest, it, I don't know why I'm on 30 ping. I'm my own host, but let's go. I got a sticky on, I got stim. This is this is all me. Oof. Oh, that's a banger start. We're about to get the squad spawns of the century. Oh my god. It's about as efficient as you can get. Be dropping a nuke on these guys. Has anyone died to these bots? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It's like I'm, I might be dying. I might run out of ammo. This might be bad. No. No nuke. Right. If I got the nuke, would I have been able to call it? I don't know if you actually get it. I haven't seen someone get it yet. Interesting. Someone had to have got it. I I think the Tyler was the closest. I think he went on like a 20 something. I don't remember. This is a killer start though. Well, I might as well pepper you with some questions. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, one of the things you guys were talking about going into the season was, you know, playing matches from LA. How has it been so far? Has it been like tough for you guys or has it been I a little bit? I think it's uh... It's been pretty fair, to be to be honest. Um, CDL has done a better job these last two years 
of getting like better servers for us. So it honestly hasn't been bad. Obviously, we all can't wait for land. So yeah, I feel like they make like a best of the bad situation, you know? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, man! Oh. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely tough. I mean, if we all had to choose, I think we'd have every you know team in like a a bubble, but Pretty like cool. you know studio or some something. Mm -hmm. But uh, I I guess Black Ops Four. Yeah, like Black Ops Four, but. I mean, hey, it's a different environment. The world's changed a lot, so gotta make well, one, the best of the situation. One thing we asked uh, Attach, who we just had on on the episode before, was if he thought like any players, like if they had multiple options in free agency, whether they would take location of the franchise into like consideration. Because I feel like a lot of the franchises right now, I think like nine of them are based in their home location. So yeah, pretty much honestly, have to decide. Like, like that's a factor, I guess now. Honestly, didn't expect uh, you know everyone to go back home. I thought we'd be like one of the few teams that did. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was kind of in my decision making. Although I did choose to come to LA, um, it was a thought at a moment because I mean we play the games. I mean I know how <laughs> how OP some of those hosts are or how uh, bad it can be. So and it's our it, career. So it's actually crazy seeing like something for like real sports like where players usually have to decide on that. But like, I didn't think that would be something in eSports we'd have to worry about for a while, but it seems like it's coming sooner than later. Yeah. I feel like I'm kind of falling behind here. Oh no, you're not bad. No. I got hit go. the crazy movement to finish it off. <laughs> Dang. What would I get? Like three minutes, 35 seconds? I mean, I think you killed it. Couple there. Hi, pets. Dude, the barrel, man. If the barrel didn't get you, I think you would have been, I think you would have been golden. Uh, yeah, if, if the barrel didn't get me, like, I don't know. I, I might have set the world record, but what what I, what I come in at? You got to tell me. All right, Envoy. How do you think you did? I think I could have been a little bit more efficient, but I still think I did good overall. You know, if the barrel didn't explode, like, it's a whole different story, you know? Like, I could have been setting world records. You know, I, th I thought you had it, but you came in with 3 minutes and 35 seconds, which comes in at 4th, so it's still top 5. Uh, uh, I'll, you... I'll take that, you know. Yeah. Who's, who's above me? Uh, so you have you have uh, Doug at number two, uh, Abizi at number one, and Gizmo. You just fell right behind Gizmo for, for number three. I mean, uh, I'll tip it to them. They're a bunch of speed demons. So uh, except for Gizmo, he can get off top three boat, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to come back. I think we're going to start having people come back in the future and see if they can beat their original time. But thank you so much for coming out, you know, answering these questions and doing this for us. Um, who would you like to see uh, take the challenge next? Listen, I'm going with my, my main AR himself, LaRue. We always talk about it in scrims, especially squad spawns. We need some MPH out of him, so I wonder how fast he could speed run this. I like it. I like it. I'm going to have to hit him up. Uh, before we go, um, is there anyone you would like to shout out? Any like LA Thieves fans or any Envoy fans out there? Listen, shout out to all the LA Thieves fans. Shout out to my squad for all the hard work we've been putting in. And uh, shout out to Breaking Point for you know keeping the community updated. So, it's a very core part of the community that uh, we would not have without you guys. So thank you. I love that gas. Thanks so much, man. Well, we'll see everyone for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for the support on the end of the, you know, the start of the series. And uh, yeah, enjoy the major and we'll see you guys after. Peace.